In the last video I dropped for Super Mega Baseball 2, I asked you guys, do you want a season series featuring a lot of you? So you guys put your names in the comments, and then I got an overwhelming amount of you saying, please give us a series. So with that, I'm here to introduce you to the next iteration of the Varsity Club. Now I'm happy to introduce you guys to the very first roster for Super Mega Baseball 2 for our Varsity Club. Now keep in mind, if you guys didn't make the roster, as long as you guys are supporting this series and I'm getting a ton of views and likes and kind of engagement in this series, then we'll do a second season with a totally new roster totally new people giving more of you guys an opportunity to play now first up we got Trey Davis who will be playing in center field and first base after him we have Daniela St. Maurice playing third base and first base Emiliana Alves will be sitting over there in the first base section Chris Shores will be playing left field and outfield overall we have Dr. Dewey playing second base and shortstop we're gonna have uh, Willie Mays Hayes which is one of my favorite names that all you guys that submitted playing shortstop and outfield we're gonna have Tristan Padgett she's gonna be playing right field first base and a little little bit of outfield. We're also going to have Mighty Mills playing catcher. I mean, look at that grin. Look at that grin. I mean, she's a little egotistical is what I've heard, but she should be pretty good out there on the diamond. We also have James Neville, who's going to be playing second base for us. We have Mark McGriff playing set or playing catcher and first base. We also have D'Angelo Wild, again, one of those fantastic names. This dude kind of looks like a baseball player, if you ask me, playing shortstop and second base. We have Sono Merco playing center field and outfield. We have Ryan Vince playing left field and right field. And then we go to the pitching side. We have Daniel Shell being one of our starting pitchers. We have Harry Lombardi also as a starting pitcher. You know, we had to give him some yellow hair because he is Irish. Uh, we're going to have Nick Firestorm. And you can't have a character named Firestorm without giving him orange hair or reddish hair. So, Nick, you're welcome, man. We also have King Wavy playing a pitcher, and I mean, that afro is fantastic. Notice the tattoo. This man's got some incredible tattoos as well. And for a lot of you guys, I randomized the appearances, and we got some pretty incredible ones. We have Jenny McSwiggles as a re our first relief pitcher. We have Everett Ashton as a relief pitcher. We have Justin Vineyard also as a relief pitcher. Lucas Rodriguez as our closing pitcher. So guys, that is the roster. I'm going to button through these again really quickly so you guys can kind of see all the players again. A lot of these, again, I randomized the appearances for some of them. Some of the appearances I kind of left as they were, but I think this is a really cool roster for the initial part. There's some cool gear, some cool swaggy people out there, and I'm excited to get into this next season. So here we go. We're going to jump into the first game. I hope you guys are excited. We'll see who plays, who doesn't play. We'll get a lot of substitutions going in there, and let's see if we can get our very first W of the season right here, right now. Now, our first game is against the Underworld, and I'm not intimidated at all. Like, I feel pretty good about this one. Now, we're playing their stadium so it'll be dicey. But up first for us is going to be Trey Davis. Let's, I'm excited to get a season. I've actually never really completed a full season in this game. And we're playing on 45 Ego, so that's not going to be easy at all. 45 Ego is kind of what they call serious. So we're going to see how we can do. Okay, two foul balls to start this event. I don't know why we swung at that one, but Trey, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll do better on the next one. Up next is going to be Daniela St. Maurice. Now she's got good power, good contact overall, and some solid speed. I'm... I've literally swung at every pitch. I got to do better. I got I got to be honest with you guys, though. This is difficult on 45 Ego. Like, this is not as easy as what you guys saw in the very first game. But this will be much more difficult. Now, up next is Emiliana Alves. Let's see what Emiliana can do for us. I may have had the worst possible inning of all time. All right, all right. So, let's be honest. The batting part of the inning, kind of trash. We're going to see what Daniel Shell can do here on the mound, though. He's... Pretty good. I think he's got a good velocity overall. Let's see if we can get him a little bit of junk here. Get this guy swinging. Ooh, bad accuracy on that pitch. Oh, we got him swinging. Okay. Let's go change up down in a way. Get him with a little bit of a finesse pitch on the corner. Okay, he popped it up. Got the third baseman right there ready to go. It's like Daniela St. Maurice. And she's got the out for the first one of the inning. Now, up next, we're going to have Clara Corker. Okay, she's showing a button. No real power. She's got fantastic contact, though. We're going to go uh, a little velocity up and in. Got her with his first strike. We're going to go... Curveball inside. Probably in the dirt on that one. Oh, we got the call though. I like it. Let's go slider away. Okay, she got that one. Oh, that's a fair ball. Daniela showing off the guns and we got the out. What? Oh, that was Emiliana Alves. Excuse me. What a fantastic throw there on the corner. So two outs here in the inning. We're going to try and uh, keep the mojo going. So the first pitch is a ball. This guy actually has some good power. Let's go down low for. Ooh, not even a strike on that one. Okay, let's go curveball. Oh, we missed. We might be in trouble. Oh, we got that one deep. That one is going to be gone, but it's foul. Thank God we're okay. So two strikes on this guy. Change up outside. Okay, that's going to be a foul. Let's go up and in on the fastball and get him out of this inning. Should be good here. Got him. The strikeout by Daniel Shell, and we're out of what could have been a scary inning. We ended up being okay. Now batting, number 
Now, starting off the second inning, we have Chris Shores. This guy is a speedster on the base pass, and I have to do a better job of just, like, finding good pitches to swing at, and so far, not the best swings. I mean, I've actually been pretty horrible swinging. Now, with Dr. Dewey up next, this, uh, this whole 45 ego is difficult. That one, probably a better pitch to swing at, still not the result that I actually wanted, and we're out again. Willie Mays Hayes. Who will be the first person to actually get a base hit for us? Okay, there we go. I moved the reticle a little bit. We got our first hit from Willie Mays Hayes. I like it. Maybe a stolen base is on the horizon now. Tristan Padgett steps up, our right fielder. We're going to chill for a second. A little bit of pressure, but we're going to take the first ball. Here we go for the second one. Ooh, could have swung. That was a ball, too. Oh, she blasted that one. Oh, this is... Oh, that's actually going to be caught for the out three. Okay, I thought we were going to have a base hit in a run. Unfortunately, we did not. Filament Pinata is up now with Daniel Shell, who actually finished that inning pretty strong. I mean, he struggled a little bit at the first inning, but he did significantly better there at the end. Now, look at this. The fastball up and in. Oh, that's going to be foul. All right, let's go, uh, let's go change it away. Let's finesse this one. Got him. Another strikeout. Fold him on that one. Not even close. Okay, Jordan Cano up next to this guy. Look at his chin. That is the angriest person I think I've seen in this entire game. Okay, foul ball there to start. Let's go uh, fastball up and in. I don't want to get too predictable, but we got him on that one. And then let's go change up down and away. Oh, we almost hit the corner of the strikes. All right, let's go change it. Or uh, curveball here. Oh, should have the out here. No problem. Uh, please, sir. Okay, you, you took a little bit too much time there, second baseman, but you got the out. Kalei Painter is up next, and this man has the James Harden of beard, so I feel like it's only right that I try and strike him out because you guys all know what James Harden did to me in real life. So let's go change up inside. Got the strike. Okay, and then let's go fastball up and in. Ooh, we just missed having a beautiful pitch there. All right, let's go slider. We haven't really thrown too many sliders today. Ooh, foul ball, foul ball. All right, let's go curveball. Let's finesse it. Oh my god, we froze it. <laughs> Hashtag expose that man. Up next is Mighty Mills, our catcher. And you know what? She's pretty mighty. You gotta give her props. I'm thinking the crazy thing too is that right now Daniel Shell is pitching a no-hitter. Think about that. This man is pitching a no-hitter right now. We only have one hit, but let's see if Daniel Shell can actually help himself out here uh, at the plate. He's been a gem on the mound. And that's gonna be not even close. Let's see what he can get for the second one here. Oh, he got a hold of it, but that's not really going to do any good for him unless there's an error, which there is not. That is the second out of the game or in the inning. So Trey Davis is back up top of the order. He's 0 for 1. We struck out with him last time. I want to do better for him this time, though. Okay. You know what? Good news is he made contact. Bad news is that's going to be an out. So we're going to move on to the bottom of the third inning with Tim Flano. See if we can go. We haven't started with a changeup at all. I want to make sure we're not predictable. This game is fantastic because if you start throwing the same sort of pitches and the same sort of pattern, the game will adjust to it and uh, they'll make you pay. Now, we almost had another strikeout there for Daniel, but we're going to try to go finesse here with the curveball. Not even close to the zone, and we got him swinging. Sit down, young fella. Daniel Shell is here, and the young fella has arrived. Now, Chelsea Thunderers up here. We're going to try and go fastball up top. Ooh, fouled off. Let's go change up inside. Oh, we got lucky. Okay, let's go curveball away. Ooh, okay, we should have the out here. Should be an easy play. Right at first base, and we got him to get the second out of the inning. Now, up next is Aaron Wiggs. This man, pretty much like King Wavy, has a giant afro. With the curveball in the first pitch. All right, it's going to be right to our second baseman. That should be the end of the inning. And we're out of there. Still a perfect game right now for Daniel Shell. Not a single hit allowed. Daniela St. Maurice is up, and like the majority of our roster, she is 0 for 1. And we would honestly like to change that right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost, almost hit us there. Now she blasted that one past the third base, and that was a power swing. What a freaking hit. You've got to be kidding me. That was incredible. I like it. I like it a lot. And we got a person on first base with Emiliana Alves coming up. The Bash sisters. Back to back hits coming, maybe? She going to. Oh, no. She hit it right to the pitcher. Beautiful play by the pitcher, and that is a double play to get two outs in the inning. Things just went from great to kind of bad. Now, up next is Chris Shores. We need someone to hit a home run or something for our squad. And that is not going to be it. A lot of power, decent contact, 
but it ends up being another out as we move on now to the bottom of the fourth inning with only two hits in the game. Here we go, it's Brent Flair. It is the top of the order now again for this roster. We'll see if Daniel Shell can continue his perfect game, aka the no-hitter. So far, so good for the young fella. Oh, another one. All right, let's go. Same pitch. Same pitch. Oh, my God. He's dealing. I mean, we had a struggle inning in the very beginning, but since then, this dude is on fire. And fuego, if I may say so myself. Okay, another strike. Let's go fastball up and in. Ooh, missed our accuracy a little bit. I got a foul off that one. Uh, let's go slider away. Oh, should be a pop out that we can get. Second base was calling for it. I like it. Boom. Out number two of the inning, and the perfect game is still here with Dash Did up next. Let's go change up away. Missed our spot a little bit. Oh, no. The perfect game, the no hitter. It's over after three and two thirds. So close. Oh, it's unfortunate. All right, Daniel. Got to focus now. Got to lock in to get out of this inning. Don't want them to uh, get any momentum going. Ooh, just missed it there in the ball. Ooh, beautiful. Let's go uh, fastball up and away. Got him. There we go. I mean, look, he battled back. He gave up a hit. It's a one-hitter right now for him. That's a fantastic way to close that inning. Now, in comes the big fella, Dr. Dewey. Fantastic contact. We're going to need him to get on his A-game right now. Now, he hits one. He's a little late on it. That one's going to end up being found. There's a little bit of pressure on him at the moment. Now, he blasted one. The center fielder... Oh, he almost got to it. Okay, we're going we're gonna to pump our brakes. We're going to keep our guy there at first base. Significantly closer than I thought it was going to be. I thought we were actually going to get an easy single, but he almost snagged it. Now, up next is going to be Willie Mays Hayes, the first guy to get a hit in this ballgame for us. Now, he hits one with some power, but he's late on it, and you see it go foul. Oh, he's late on that one, too. And as you can tell, the catcher, that's an easy fly ball. Tristan Padgett comes up again. No real power, but a lot of contact and speed for her. She's going to blast one there. We're going to get guys on first and second base now. Life is looking good. If we can get a home run here from Mighty Mills, show off the mighty power here, we'll be okay. We're actually going to go for a contact swing, though. That was a ball. Good eye on that one. Pressure is extreme at the moment. Ooh, not even close on that one. The pitcher is definitely feeling it. Another ball. Three balls. We might take one here, see if we can get a walk. We got a walk. Bases are juice. Is a grand salami in our future. Daniel Shell is on fire. Look, I could take him out, but I don't want to take out Daniel Shell. We'll see what happens here. He's too good. We'll take the ball here. I mean, if this pitcher keeps throwing balls, you might be okay. I mean, so far we got two balls. If he walks the pitcher, we're in the best possible situation. Three balls right now. Daniel Shell is chilling. That's going to be a strike right down the middle. Okay, let's see what this next one looks like. Didn't need a swing at that one. Oh, no. That could have been a ball. Here we go. Daniel Shell was walked. That was close. We swung at one we shouldn't have swung at. But the first run has come into the game. And now we're at the top of our order with Trey Davis, the young fella with all the power in the world. No hits yet today. But he's up with the bases juiced. Oh, he crushed one, but almost killed our third base coach. One strike on him. Oh, he hits one really high, really far back, but that's going to keep the bases loaded with two outs here. We're not going to test that person's arm because, as you can see, they kind of have a cannon. Now, Daniela St. Maurice is up one for two. She's already got one hit. A single here scores one, if not two. Oh, she blasted one. This is deep. This one's back, and this one is going a grand salami for the whole squad. The lead just went from one run to five runs. Daniela St. Maurice with the very first home run in varsity club history. Fourth RBI on the season and an incredible shot to deep left field. Clearing the bases, we now have Emiliano Alves up. What can she do for our squad here? Now she's going to get one up the middle. It's going to be right past the pitcher in between his legs, actually. Kind of five holding there. Keeping the rally going. I like it so far. We're doing good. I mean, we, we were struggling most of the game, but that was a big shot. Up next is Chris Shores. We're going to go with the power swing here. See what he can do. He's going to blast one. That's going to be to the warning track, but significantly foul. Getting two strike or one strike on him. Two outs. He's going to take a first ball to the bat. Got a runner on first for him. Another ball is going to pass there. Two balls, one strike. He's in the driver's seat. Oh, he's going to hit one. Please get out of town. That one's going to be foul. Okay, two strikes. He's going to get a hold of one up the middle, and that's going to get a runner to second base. Oh, they're actually going to test the arm of that center field. Oh, God, this could be bad. Mistakes were made. 
mistakes were made. But we have a nice five run lead. Daniel Shell again. These are going to be six inning games for you guys. That's why I didn't pull Daniel Shell earlier. These are only six inning games. We're going to see if we can get this guy the complete game. Because right now, he is dealing. This one is deep. I have a feeling our left fielder is going to get to it. And they do. A little closer than I would have liked. But still, the one hitter is in play at the moment. All right. Let's see what we can do against Kalai Painter. Curveball to start the bat. Nice, beautiful strike. We're going to go uh, fastball up and in. Another one. All right. Let's go change up, down and away. Got him. Another. I'm, I've lost count of how many strikeouts Daniel Shell has thrown at this point, but he is killing this entire team. Tim Flan is up now. Let's go change up inside. Good accuracy on that one. Got the strike. I mean, we might have got the benefit of the doubt on that one. 99 accuracy on that one. Daniel Shell is dealing. Let's go again. High and in. 94 accuracy. Back to back 90 overall pitches. Now we're going to see if we can finish him with a fatality. Oh, we almost had it. We almost had it. All right, this one's going to be foul. We're going to take the out. We could let that drop and, you know, try to get the strikeout, but we'll take the out to end the inning. Moving on to the top of the sixth inning now. Now, what next is going to be Dr. Dewey batting fifth on our lineup. One for two on the afternoon. All we got to do is just basically secure this lead. Oh, that was a strike. Nice pitch. Just got to secure our lead and we'll be fine. Nice little shot at the middle, but the shortstop is going to snag it and get the first out of the inning there on Dr. Dewey. Up next for us is Willie Mays Hayes, one for two on the days you guys saw earlier. We're going to go power swing with Willie. He's going to blast one right past the second base. I mean, that's the benefit of timing your power swings properly. You can blow it right past the pitcher there. All right, who's up next? We got Tristan Paget Again, not a lot of power, but plenty of contact here. Oh, okay, that was a smidge early. Significantly early, if I had to be honest. Another strike. Okay, we should have swung at that one. Two strikes. Up the middle to the pitcher's going to get it. And that should be a double play to end the inning. It is. We're moving on to the bottom half of the inning. We're going to keep Daniel Schell in. He's thrown a one-hitter gem. The bottom of the order is up. It's going to be the eight, nine, and one hitters if we can get out of this inning with only three batters faced. So Daniel Schell throws his first one. That's going to be fouled off. It was a fastball down low. We're going to go curveball down and away. Got that one fouled as well. We're going to move our first baseman over. Should be an out, and it is. First out of the inning is right there. Up next is the number nine. This is going to be the pitcher, so they're going to bring him out. So it's going to be Jerry Fiducci comes in. Really good contact for Jerry. So we're going to start him, see if we can jam him a little bit up high. He's going to foul that one off. Let's go change up away. Good accuracy. He's going to foul that one off as well. Now we're going to try one more fastball down low, slightly out of the zone. Foul that one off too. Okay, we have an opportunity now. To try to expose them. Let's go. Oh, we missed our target. Okay. This person is literally fouling off everything. Fastball high. 89 accuracy. Sit down, young fella. We froze him. Another strikeout for Daniel Shell. The top of the order is up here with the Brent Fair. It's their lead off hitter. Let's go on a slider. Bring it back inside. Oh, that was hit. This is going to be deep. This is back. We got the out, and that is going to be the game, folks. We're going to walk out of here with a W. The first win in Varsity Club history. We killed it. Daniel pitched the gem. Obviously, we had a huge grand slam. Let's see who got the players one, two, and three of the game today with a 5-0 victory. Look at the squad. One strikeout again on our side, and uh, yeah, we could have done better there. Daniel Shell, six innings pitched, one hit allowed, eight strikeouts, his first win of the season. And then we got Daniela St. Maurice obviously getting the home run, the grand salami, Daniel Shell getting six innings pitched, one hit and eight strikeouts, and Willie Mays Hayes going two for three. The squad is ready. We're coming to take this division by storm. If you're interested in what my total star points were, 121,000, not bad. Again, if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more, make sure you guys crush the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one.